Hi, I'm Jack Ward and I'm the project manager for the STAIR project at the Salford Foundation. Um, so the STAIR project, it's a one-to-one -one mentoring project for young people across Trafford at the risk of youth violence. Um, so I'll give you a bit of background on the projects, um, what we do um, and kind of what we hope to achieve. So the background of the project is STAIR started in Salford um, five years ago now. Um, it was initially commissioned as a response to the need of young people in Salford being criminally exploited um, by organised crime groups, particularly familial groups um, in the city. Um, following the initial success of this, we were refunded to, uh, to uh, do the project across Bolton uh, and now across Trafford and Wigan with the Youth Endowment Fund, um, which is really good. So in terms of our criteria and positioning for the project, um, the predominant criteria is that young people are at risk of perpetrating or being a victim of violent crime because of peers, associates or family members uh, involved in crime. Um, so we kind of look at that as quite a broad um, criteria, um, but the key thing is that they're at risk of um, violence. Um, so those, criteria below are additional criteria but we often find that if a young person fits that first criteria they often fall into a number of those following so that's experiencing violence in the family exhibiting overt coercion or violent behavior access to access to weapons and um, involvement in antisocial behavior and being disengaged from mainstream education um, and staying out of being missing from home um, which is a key indicator as well so from our work in Salford and Bolton, following from that, uh, we found that we're best positioned at an early intervention level, kind of before young people reach the youth justice service and further into the criminal justice system. So talking about um, what we actually deliver on the projects, there's two key elements to what we want to deliver, and that's our core interventions on sessions. So that's focusing on various things from goal setting, safety mapping, um, so keeping young people safe in their communities, um, criminal exploitation, thinking attitudes and behaviours, um, and peer relationships and most other core interventions we really want to deliver for every young person. Um, alongside positive activities, so that can range from consistent engagement in sports clubs, um, to trying new different things, to even just, you know, grabbing a coffee. Um, one thing that is noticeable is that we work from uh, ages 10 to 17. So the needs of those activities can vary quite quite drastically. So a 17 year old, the focus might be for us to link in with training providers and um, possible employment, whereas a 10 year old might be that consistent engagement in something positive um, that they really get into. So our core interventions, we're hoping they're quite trauma informed, especially with our exit plan which looks at kind of reviewing highlights and what we want to achieve in the future. Um, and our other focus is contextual safeguarding. So I know I mentioned safety mapping is one of our core interventions, um, but it's really looking at where that young person is and kind of their area and how to keep them safe in the community. Um, yeah, so one key thing to mention um, about our work in Trafford as part of the Youth Endowment Fund is that um, signposting to other services in the borough is key to where the way we work now. Um, so a young person will get referred in to stay and they will get randomly allocated either a stay worker or um, signposted to other services in the borough with light touch check-ins from our mentors. Um, this really is to see if stay adds any value to the support provided to the young people in Trafford already and ultimately help support systems to keep young people safe. So in terms of referrals, um, we have a referral form, which I'm more than happy to send out. Um, but you can contact us on youth services at solforfoundation.org.uk for that referral form and more details. Um, yeah. Thank you for listening.